morning, MV Kids. Welcome to another Sunday Online. I'm Miss Danny, and we're going to continue our story about David. So today's story is called God's Covenant with David. We're going to start off with our first question, and it is, how is Jesus the perfect king? And of course, the answer is Jesus perfectly rules over the universe as the king of kings. He is the ultimate king. And it's kind of a cool illustration that we're going to go through with David. Um, so our monthly memory verse this week comes from Psalm 145, 13. It's your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule is for all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his actions. So basically, God is pretty awesome and Jesus is the perfect king. All right, now for our opening activity. We are going to build a model home. So I want you to find anything in your house that you can build with. So you can choose Legos or blocks or maybe blankets and pillows and chairs. You make a fort or something. Um, and I want you to build a house that would be good enough for God to live in. You can make it anything you want. What do you think God would want to live in? What kind of house does God res deserve? So go ahead and pause this video and build a home. Okay, God certainly deserves a wonderful house like a palace. That is just what King David thought in the Bible story we will hear today. David built a palace for himself and then looked around and realized that God's house, which was the tabernacle, was just a little tent. He wanted to do something about it. Pay close attention to the Bible story to find out what happened. Today's main idea is that God promised that the Messiah would come from David's family. And a Messiah is just basically a fancy word for Jesus, the Savior. So God promised David that eventually one of his great, 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 great grandsons would be the Messiah. So today's story comes from Samuel, 2 Samuel 6 and 7. Go ahead and take a listen. God chose David to be the next king of Israel. King Saul had died, and God gave his people a time of peace. David lived in a beautiful palace in the city of Jerusalem. One day, David was talking with Nathan the prophet. David said, I live in a palace of nice cedar wood, but the ark of God sits inside a tent. It hardly seemed fair. Shouldn't God have a nicer house than I do? David wanted to build a temple for the Ark of God. Nathan said, God is with you, do what you want. But God did not want David to do whatever he wanted. God wanted David to do what God wanted. That night, God gave Nathan a message for David. This is what God told Nathan to say. David, are you going to build a house for me to live in? I brought my people out of Egypt. I gave them leaders to guide them. The entire time I have been with them, my house has been a tent. Did I ever ask anyone to build a temple for me? You used to be a shepherd, David, but I made you king. I helped you defeat your enemies, and my people now live peacefully in their own land. I promise you, David, that you and your descendants will be kings. When you die, one of your sons will be king. He will be a strong king, and no one will be able to take his kingdom away from him. He will build a house for me. I will love him, and I will never leave him. When your son dies, his son will be king. Someone in your family will be king forever. Nathan told David everything God said. David went into the tent he had set up for the Ark of the Lord. He sat down and prayed. God, I don't deserve anything you have done for me, and you promised to do so much more. You are so great, there is no one like you. You chose the Israelites to be your own people. You rescued them from slavery in Egypt. God, please keep your promises. I know your words are always true. God promised David that every future king of Israel would come from David's family, 
and David's kingdom would last forever. God kept his promise by sending his son, Jesus, as one of David's descendants. Jesus is our king who will rule over God's people forever. Now for our story questions. Pause this video and discuss them as a family. Why did David want to build a house for God? What did Nathan tell David at first? What did God promise David? Who fulfilled this promise of God? Was it sinful for David to want to honor God with a temple? When will Jesus' kingdom be fully established? Now for our older friends, go ahead and pause this video and discuss as a group. What had God done for David? Why is God's covenant with David special to us today? Why is it better to live for God's kingdom rather than living for ourselves? All right, now remember, every week we have a Christ connection, so we're not talking about Jesus in the Bible just quite yet. We're talking about everything before him. So we're going to connect this story to Jesus. God promised David that every future king of Israel would come from David's family, and David's kingdom would last forever. God kept his promise by sending his son, Jesus, as one of David's descendants. Jesus is our king who will rule over God's people forever. Let us pray. God, we thank you so much that you told David long, long ago that we would have a Messiah and it would come from him. And you keep your promises, Lord. And just as David was learning to become a good king, you are the best king. And we thank you so much for being our wonderful king, Jesus. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, now for our activity. Can you put these Bible story pictures in order? What's happening in these pictures? So pause this video and discuss as a group what, what's happening, what was this story? We've already learned about these stories. So can you identify what each picture is referring to and put them in order in which they happened? We'll see you next week.